Hello, hello, hello. Welcome again to another video. Now, we are back here at Michigan. After the disappointing Tiger Muskies. <laughs> Never mind, eh? But we're, <laughs> we're going to go and check the Muskie spot out. And we're going to use the same rod. We're going to leave it at 61 inches this time. I'll leave the 6 hot on for now, but I may switch to an 8 hot. We'll see. We've still got our Ardix 13 foot rod, our line glider 6000 reel with 25 pound mono on. And the spot we're going to head to is going to be King of the Green Bay. Okay, King of the Green Bay, guys. So let's um, head out there and I'll show you where we're going. Okay. So here we are, King of the Green Bay, and let's go and go over here, let's keep walking, and then you'll come to a spot just here, a nice little spot, and you'll see the open waters, nice, and we're going to come down to the water's edge here. And you'll see this chunky tree here. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to count one, two, three, four. That little darker coloured one with a light one next to it. And that darker coloured one's where we're going to aim at. And we're going to cast as far as we can. Not perfect cast. We're going to leave it out there. And we should be around. 155 should be good. I'm going to leave that there a minute and wait and see if we get a bite, guys. And hopefully, it won't take too long. And we've still got our large minnows on. <coughs> and we'll just wait and see. See if we can get any of these big muskies. And obviously the disadvantage with this is we can't see what our bobo is doing. Can't see what he's up to. My friend Mr. Hillrand over there getting some nine pound piking. So we're not going for pike in this video, we're gonna go for the musket. You know the last video we caught musket, so you know that that's what works at this time. We'll wait and see. Oh, we have a ding. We have a ding. Let's just tighten the line a little bit. You can't see what's going on, remember, so you've got to watch on the right hand side of the screen. And there we go. Fish on, guys. Say hi in just a second. <laughs> Do it now while we got him on. We'll leave him. No, he's gonna come in towards us. We got him. He's coming. He's coming. Here we have. Nice little musket, 12.7. 508 there. There we go. Keep him. I'll say hi to Hillman. And we'll get right back out. Remember, it's that little dark tree there. So we'll just cast it out. Just like that, you see it fly. 162, it just cast quite far this way. I'm quite impressed. There we go. And we'll just leave it there. And there we have the ding. 
Then we've got another fish on, guys. Twenty one point six pounds. Go. What do you reckon? Not a bad little spot, is it? <laughs> Four hundred experience. So you're not losing any. Nine, nearly a thousand. Now they don't pay as much as the Northern Pike. The Northern Pike for that you will get like fifteen, sixteen hundred cash. So right. Let's see if we can get another one, guys. That one was bigger that time. Everyone's bringing one in. What's he got? He's got a trophy, twenty pound trophy, Northern. One six nine. This does cast quite well. This rod. I'm impressed with it. Come on. Well, I'd say it's the only thing you can't see. I can, I can, actually, if you have a look, you can just see the bobber. If you keep watching, you'll see it flick, flickering through the reeds, through the cattails. If you look carefully, hopefully you should be able to see it. Because I'm recording these now in 1080p. Is that at all? Is he running from something? I wonder. We will know when we hear the ding, guys. We'll know when we hear that ding. <clears throat> Is he going to ding? He's not dinging. <laughs> He's not dinging. We are at a stalemate. It does go like this sometimes though. We'll get a quiet spot. But we'll, we'll persevere. You know. When you guys come here, I will say just make sure you definitely bring enough shiners and a, a few large minnows. You won't need major amounts because you will be going for the pike most of the time, which will be the next spot I will show you. If we don't get a fish very shortly, I am going to run over there and we shall see what we shall see. Just where Mr. Hillrond is over there. One of the pro hookers which I am a member of um, if you ever see any of them guys out on the lakes just, just ask them questions they will be more than happy to help as will I if you see me 
And don't be afraid to send a friend's request. I'll be gladly add you. And give it till midday, which will be, you know, seven game minutes. And we'll see what we see. We're not getting any dings. Well, in the little line. But you can see it just out there, the bobber. Just beyond those reeds, them um, cattails in front of me. Just there, where my rod is pointing. We'll wait and see. You can cast from the other side, but it's trickier to get the distance correct. I may give it a bash. We may just give it a little bash. But we'll see what happens here, just for a few more minutes. Got a little tug on there. But do we get a ding? Remember guys, uniques are not guaranteed. There is times for them, but whether you get them or not, it's all RNG. RNG. Random numbers generator. And that does not always go in your favour. Anyone who's done any of the events or competitions will know that. may do some of them very soon and competitions but we'll see he's having a he's, he's. is he running from something I can't tell because I can't see it I might need glasses or binoculars you see out there I can't see a thing Oh, we have a ding. We have a ding, guys. There's a ding. Just gonna make sure my lines up a little tighter, and we got fish on. Guys, don't use anything less than this. You know, we'll go with the Phoenix, but if you get a 40, 50 pound musky on, you're gonna struggle. This would struggle. Come on. 
We got him. We got him. Another nice 18 pounder. There he is, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, we got a little time. Let's do a run. I can get out of there. There we go. Right, let's run around to the pike spot and see if we can get a pike. One of these nice Norvins. Come on, skillful. Run to the tunes. Move those legs. Have I got any legs? I can see the shadows. Can you run backwards on this? Oh, you can. Check that. That looks odd, doesn't it? And we're here. We're here. We're here. There we go. Right. Now we've got a pike spot. Now you can let me change our depth now to 20 inches. Change our bait to shiners. Now there are a couple of spots here you can cast just here. Just behind this set of weeds here, these are lily pads. You can cast just here, just behind these lily pads, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go facing these here. If you if you push, if you just stand and you see that little gap just there, and just push forward, it will sit you just there. It'll stop. And what we're going to do, we're going to cast just through there, not very far. Around 50 to 55 is usually a good distance. I'm going to sit there a minute. I'll zoom in. You can see the bobber. I'm going to see if we can get one of these pikes. Well, we've got a little bit of time still because it's till 1 o'clock. It's the times for him. And we'll see if we can pull one in. See if we can get one. Come on, you pesky pike. But yeah, I am liking this rod more and more. The more I use it. It's got a good, a good action on it. Gives you a good fight. And there's our ding. We've got a ding, guys. got a ding but we got nothing else <laughs> what's that all about <laughs> we got another ding now he's gone hiding oh fish on we got a fish on this should come in easy though so there we go they, they don't take a lot to bring these in got seven pounder let's get that on Let's switch to an 8 up and see what we get with an 8 up. There we go. Let's look. put the 8 up on. Just in case. Personally, if you've got this gear, I would suggest using an 8 up all the time, to be quite honest. 6 ups are good. But you may as well use the 8 up, I'd say. I'm going to stick with the 8 up from now on. There's another ding, guys. You can just see it out there. I got a ding, but he's not done now. He's just sitting there having a little swim round. Nice shiner. Come on. What's he doing? Where's he going? Get back here. Is there anything about these uh, little spots here? is 
the stuff behind these cattails. If you want, you can go and get the kayak, and then you can sit just behind there and uh, fish to your heart's content with the kayak. Uh, it makes a little bit more interesting. Maybe we'll do that at some point. If you get one of them big muskies there and leave your anchor up, yeah, you're gonna. Oh, fish on. Let's see. That's a small one. Let's bring him in. Smaller than the other. Put a bigger hook on and get a smaller fish. What's going on? Let's try again. Try again. Let's have a little music while we're doing it, shall we? Just to pass the time. And we'll see if we can get one of these nice big pipes. Hill got a nice 20 pounder. We will see, we will see what we can do. And remember, guys, don't forget, subscribe. Hit that like button, and I will be bringing some new content out very shortly. You got a ding then, I heard it. I heard that ding. Nothing's happening. They are funny fish. Sometimes you will get multiple things. I most I have like five in the, five things on the row. And then then I got nothing. <laughs> the fish went away. There's another thing. Let's see. Come on. Come on, Mr. Pike. It tastes quite nice too, man. I'll say that. Good eating. Bubba. You're not doing much running, Mr. Bubba. I hope a little dragonfly to join us. On. Where is he? He doesn't want to do anything. The other thing here, if it runs like this, very close, although it's running now, you're going to think <coughs> it can get stuck in the uh, lily pads. We have a ding. He's come very close to us. Yeah, we got a ding and he got stuck. Come back here. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Oh, we are 46. Might be a little close. Yeah, well. Doing it again. He's heading for them lily pads. Oh no, it's going away now. And you got a ding. We're nearly out of the time zone as well. And we've got a fish. It's 
the better one. Not huge, but better. Here he comes. Mmm. Yum yum. We're losing experience on them well. You can see the difference in experience. <coughs> Excuse me. These pike are not as worthy of the experience as the muskies. But they do pay better per pound. You know? So you'd get a 14 pound one to get like 1100 cash. So just keep that in mind guys. Okay, I'll just stop the music sec and then we'll just have a quick look over here since the time's nearly out. And what we'll do, we'll just cast just after him. Just there like that. And we'll just leave it there a second. And this is another little spot where I've caught. Not caught no uniques on this little spot though. The only place I've seen uniques caught is just behind them um, cattails we were just at. But I have caught some nice trophies here. We'll give it a minute and we'll see what happens. But there are, this is one of them lakes, this is probably the best lake on the game for a variety of fish. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. <clears throat> and there are tons of, there are just lots and lots of different species. I'll see if I can, um, apart from the panfish, fish, the obvious panfish, you do get unique perch at this lake. So you get a unique perch, you get tiger trout, brown trout, Atlantic salmon, blue catfish, sturgeon. You get the oh, we have a ding. One second. Are we gonna take it? We had a ding, then, guys. I heard it. I heard that ding. Is he not going to take it? He's just... Ah, oh, you yeah, bugger! He's just window shopping, that guy was, wasn't he? Yeah, so you get your sturgeons. In fact, I'll show you that and we'll conclude it here, guys. Because it doesn't look like we're going to get one. Oh, should we just... Go on, give it one more. Why not? We'll give it one more, Cass. We'll give it one more. Just there like that. And we'll see. I know that it's gone past 1pm. But I can't help myself. I just need one more fish. And we'll see how we do. Yeah, no. And there's a ding. Is he, is he stopped? There we go, fish on guys. This is a better one. This is a better one. Yeah, this is a better one. It's not a unique, I don't think, but it's definitely a trophy. Is it? Come on. No! Just under the trophy. Trophy's around £11. Got a nice £10 up, and he gets 788 cash, and we didn't lose experience on that. So there we go, guys. Okay. We will keep him, and I'll show you the quick list of the fish. There are a lot. Okay. So, we have American Shads, Atlantic Salmons, Blue Catfish, Blunt Nose Minnows, Brook trout, brown trout, bullheads, uh, clear muskies, freshwater drums, golden shiners, green sunfish, musky, 
northern pike, pumpkin seeds, rock bass, smallmouth bass, tiger muskies, tiger trout, walleye, which do get to you need over 20 pounds of damage, white bass, sturgeon, and yellow perch. There are a lot of uniques in here. Count them up, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So there are twelve different unique fish for you guys to try and catch. I will try and catch some with you on the next video, which will be the tiger musket. So we'll we'll see, we'll see. The last one wasn't too clever, was it? But hopefully we will see and hopefully we'll try and get one of those unique guys. Um, but until then, have fun, tight lines, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and I will catch you guys in the next video. So take care and join me there. See you later.